President Joe Biden is in re-election mode this week as his administration held a key meeting with China today. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House with more. Ben. Well, in the U.S. said they didn't have it to make some progress with China, but there is more work to be done when it comes to trade, Taiwan, and even human rights. President Joe Biden faced questions on China as he boarded Air Force One amid talks in Beijing, a major moment in U.S.-China relations, as President Xi sat down with Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, a meeting that was postponed back in February after a Chinese spy balloon showed up in U.S. airspace. Directly raising issues of concern, exploring cooperation in places where it's in our mutual interest to do so. Um, we uh, did all of that on this trip, but Progress is hard. Biden is now hoping to meet with Xi in the next several months. In the meantime, he hit the campaign trail. Rallying union members in the battleground state of Pennsylvania this weekend. What I'm really proud about is being reelected the most pro-union president in history. As Republican presidential hopeful Governor Ron DeSantis. I bring greetings from the free state of Florida. Campaigned in Nevada, Biden joined Florida's governor out west Monday. It's there in California. The commander in chief will focus on fundraising and also tout efforts to go green, announcing federal funds for climate resilience projects. What we're seeing here is an amazing success story of how you can work together to make our communities more climate resilient. It matters. It matters. Resiliency matters. And part of President Biden's announcement was also about some $600 million to fight rising sea levels and to protect coastal communities like South Florida. He will remain in the California area for about the next three days. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Ben, thank you. Attorney now.